All right, chums, let's do this. Leroy! Well, that was anticlimactic. Hello, everyone. My name is Jasirium, and welcome back to Let's Play... Ow! Let's play Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. In the last episode, we completed Glacier Park, we defeated Komodo Joe, and in this episode, we are going to go through Citadel City. And as of right now, there are only two tracks open. Alright, so that's not open yet. That's also not open yet, but that's one of the few tracks we'll be racing on. That one's not open yet, but it looks epic, so we're going to get to that later. Alright, so where are we going now? Well, first of all, just have to make my way down here. Alright, first up, Cortex Castle. Yes, that's right, we are racing through Neo Cortex's castle. Yes, Dr. Neo Cortex's castle. Huzzah. And loading. getting shocked. There we see Cortex dressed as Coco in that one mural, and that is somewhat creepy. Okay. A little reference to Twin Sanity there. Alright, so, right, let's get through this castle, and I apologize to any arachnophobes watching this video, because this place is littered with spiders. You know, it's kind of funny how that little banner has Nina on there, and Nina, it, that banner kind of foreshadowed Nina in the, in the Halloween-themed Grand Prix of this game. Yes, there have been multiple Grand Prix, but the Grand Prix kind of ended already. So, if you're expecting me to go through some Grand Prix shenanigans, it's a little too late for that. But, if I wanted to do a bonus episode on some of the Grand Prix tracks, I might as well do that. To show you what they're like. Ow! Frickin' spiders! I would have jumped down that way, but that would have been too risky, and that would have been an instant death and placed back somewhere 
on the track, possibly behind the other racers, or still ahead, but having the racers catch up. That smile, though. Whee! And there you have it. Vortex Castle has been beat. Well, race-wise, anyway. We still have the extra stuff there. And loading! Loading, and loading, loading, and loading. Loading, and loading, loading, and loading. there was just somewhat of a mood. Especially considering she's wearing that royalty outfit from Tag Team Racing. Alright, the next track is down here, I believe. And we are going to go through Engine Labs. Hopefully, Engine isn't making any zombie beavers in there. You know, funny story. Earlier this morning, or typically in the in the early hours of June first, like one ish or so. P.M. Well, not P.M. One ish or so A.M. Or later, before I started recording this session. Or typically the early hours of June 1st, if you're watching this after. So, basically, I had this strange dream where I was working at this supermarket which has, I don't know if it was like Walmart or something, I mean, of that nature, but anyways, I was in the supermarket working something, and for some reason, a zombie apocalypse started because of some because of some zombie virus infected beavers or something. Like that. And later on in that dream I had to go with a relative to a fortified gas station. Because it was the only safe haven against those zombified beavers. So, yeah, that was kind of strange. Funny to think about when I haven't really watched anything relating to either zombies or killer beavers the night before. Again, the early hours of June 1st to the late hour, well, the late hours of 
the 31st of May to the early hours of June 1st. But yeah, that's kind of strange. Especially when you take into account how I'm usually one of those people that doesn't usually dream or I have some strange dreams but I don't necessarily remember all the details. So yeah. A little strange thing to talk about. Here I am, playing a racing game and I'm talking about zombie beavers. What is wrong with me? There's the prototype of the Mecha Bandicoot. I know that it's the Mecha Bandicoot because of the color scheme. So Here's a good question for the video. What strange dreams have you experienced when sleeping? Alright, so we finished Engine Labs, and... I believe the next stages we're moving on to is Hot Air Skyway and Oxide Station, and then we face this world's boss. Who is this world's boss? Well, if you saw that little door before we went down to Engine Labs. The boss of this world is Pinstripe. Yes, good old Pinstripe Porteru. And Dingo Dial is so disappointed. Yes, he came in second so many times before. He's just disappointed, because he came in second, and he just, he just wants that trophy. Too bad, so sad, let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin, because that trophy, she is mine. Alright, on to Hot Air Skyway. As a side note, on that whole beaver apocalypse story, the inf I don't think the infection was anything like that 2014 film called Zombievers. Alright, I think I'll shut up about zombie beavers now and just move on to this stage here. Here we go. You know how I said that leaps of faith are kind of common in Citadel City? Well, a lot of these tracks, like this one, have a leap of faith.
Yeah, I think I'm just gonna be evil by putting down those potions in the most inconvenient of places. And someone tried to shoot me with a missile. How dare you. For that, you get a potion. Station, and surprisingly enough, that's supposed to be where we race against Oxide. I mean, after, I mean, after the race against Pinstripe, we can, we can face Oxide if we wanted to, but we're not going to, because I just want to finish a couple things in Citadel City first before I even consider facing off against Dockside. game tells me I have to race against Dockside first before I can do anything. Well, we'll see how it goes, but first, and yes, we are racing inside Oxide spaceship. For those who are wondering.
two, one. No cortex, no. You will not! You stay away from first place! The neat thing about this place is that, considering we're in space, the gravity is altered. So if you wanted to, there's so many leaps of faith, like this. trophies in this world, I do believe Pinstripe will be confronting us after our winner Circle moment.
Yep, looks like it. Whoa, what the hell? Why you call that racing? Forget about it. If you was gonna race outside, you was gonna have to get past me first. <laughs> I'm the speed champion here, and I'm gonna save the world. Besides me, of course. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? Oh, you want a sizable fee, Pinstripe? Well, I got your sizable fee right here! Back to Hot Air Skyway. Alright, let's not get distracted by the playing cards and focus on getting past Pinstripe. And unlike the other racers we dealt with in the past, instead of potions or TNTs, Pinstripe has bowling bombs. And they can somewhat be tricky to avoid, especially when you're behind him. I mean, if you're ahead of him, you should be fine, because I don't think he was programmed to launch any bowling bombs forward. So, if you're ahead of him, you're fine. If you're behind him, then, yeah, prepare for an onslaught of bowling bombs. trying to catch up. Run! I mean, drive! Oh no, you don't. Fuck! How about no? I will not forget about this! Oh shit! Okay, now comes the tricky part of trying to pass him, because the bowling bombs he sends out behind him, they are relentless! Ah, damn it, now I gotta try and get past him while, while avoiding all these bowling bombs. Whoa, shit! That was way too close. Alright, you know what? Have a new Kooka mask! Goodbye! Have a potion! Oh no you don't! Drive! Drive, tiny drive! Drive like your life depends on it! Ooh, ouch. Poor pinstripe. I mean, what am I what am I saying? I shouldn't pity him. He tried to He tried to Barrage me with bowling bombs.
Okay, do not hug the wall. Whew! We did it! So, you wanted a sizable fee? Well, that was your sizable fee right there, Pinstripe. to reveal a key? Well, no wonder you lost! You put a key in your tire! Idiot! Oh, wait, hang on. Looks like we're about to be trash-talked by Oxide. One moment. racing against him first. Because if playing through this game has taught me anything, or just playing any crash game in general, it's that there's always two endings. One standard ending and one true ending. The standard ending being you beat the game as is, and the true ending you get when you get all the collectibles. So after we deal with Oxide, we'll do the... We'll do the... Actually, you know what? Why don't we save the... Why don't we save the... Well, okay, no. It looks like we're gonna have to save this little room here for after we get 
the CTR tokens. So, yeah, looks like we might as well face off against Nitrous Oxide. Alright, let's go. Alright, Oxide, you're going down, and I don't mean the funky town. Let's do this. And he jumps the gun before the light hits green! Cheater! You know what? For that! For that! For that, you deserve to have your butt whooped. You have cheated. You did not learn. You did not. I. Okay, I don't know that meme word for word, but still. I can't believe Oxide. I mean, just the audacity. To jump the gun before the light turns green. No wonder. No wonder. No wonder you claim to be the best in racing in the galaxy. You're such a dirty cheater. section. Wow! For, for a racer who claims to be the best, you suck, Oxide. You just suck. catch up. But that doesn't matter because we win! And 
and he goes off in anger. Ah, I can't believe you beat me. I never lose. I'll yeah, be right. Your miserable planet stays gushy and gritty. At least you still haven't gathered all my time relics. Until you've collected all of those and raced me again, you'll never be able to claim you are the fastest. This won't be the last time you'll face nitrous oxide. We will meet again. Oh, yes, we will. But that'll be for a later time. Oh, before we move on. Here's what happened to the others. Crash told his life story to a major movie studio. The film entitled The Gullah Orange will be released for the holidays. Crash can now be found somewhere on a beach down under, doing what he does best. Dancing and napping. Dr. Neocortex went back to scientific research and discovered a new element in the periodic table. Numerous lawsuits failed to change the name he boldly chose for element number 119. Cortex rules the world again. Tiny Tiger's many fans admired his physical prowess, which encouraged him to start a series of online fitness videos. Tiny Bell was an overnight sensation. Tiny then moved to Beverly Hills and founded a popular chain of fitness clubs where he sold his patented lemon grass and avocado infused. I did not read that in time. Coco went on to start her own video game streaming service. Really? Although her company is still in the red, share prices are going through the roof. Oh, that's nice. Well, I mean... Anyways, Engine opened up a custom auto parts store in Toledo, Ohio. The store closed after a massive recall. His affinity for flare and destruction landed him a job as a commentator on the wildly popular giant robot battle network. Okay? Dingo Dow started a new career as a firefighter, trading his flamethrower for a water hose. Since then, he is constantly praised for his effectiveness on the job and was most recently featured on the cover of Yearly Environment... something. Fuller became the head flavor scientist for a leading ice cream company. He created bold new flavors like Salmon Swirl, Squishy Squid Sunday, and Mackerel Mint, but it was the Tunis... Blah. Pura joined the Las Vegas Tiger Show of... Field and boy, his starring role came to an end one day when I did not have enough time to read that. How dare you? Pinstripe left racing and became a used car salesman in New Jersey. Although a top salesman each month, his atypical methods unfortunately led him to lose his license and return to his previous work as a CEO and bodyguard. Papa Babu joined the World Wrestling Association and changed his ring name to Mr. Bad Belly. His signature move, the Bad Belly Bounce, was so popular that it ignited a worldwide dance phenomenon. Big belly banging, blah blah blah. Ripper Roo turned his attention to the amusement park industry and somehow became a thrill ride engineer. Oh god. He was blacklisted after officials learned that every ride he created was just a new way for him to test his own threshold of pain. Komodo Joe opened Honest Joe's Wedding Ring and Rare Gem Outlet in Zurich. After a series of sting operations, shortly after his brother Mo announced the opening of Jewelry Auction House. Slow down, I'm trying to read! Entropy began tinkering with his time machine hobby again. He was last seen entering. It is said he met a peculiar man in a red coat with the sweetest kicks you've ever seen. After that, he blah 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 blah. Nitrous Oxide went back to the planet Gasmatia, a broken alien. After years of therapy, Oxide emerged from seclusion to begin racing again. Unfortunately, the unicycle was a poor vehicle choice, and his resulting accident put an end to his ambitions of conquest. The details, I did not have enough time to read all that. Rude. So, there was another difference between this version and the original version, because in this version, Coco went on to make a video game streaming service. In the old game, in the original CTR, the description was way different. Why? Because in CTR, originally... She went on to start her own internet dating service. I mean, really? 
Coco's not even old enough to be on one of those websites. How can she run it? Okay, so... You know what? Why don't we get the... Why don't we get the... Why don't we just get the... Citadel City ones over and done with? We can save that one room and the final battle with Noxide. Why did I say Noxide? I meant Oxide. We can do the battle with Nitrous Oxide and and or the that one gem room in the episode after. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, if I don't have enough time to finish the missions here, we can save the remaining for the next episode and do a couple extra things in the next episodes after. So, sounds good. Does that sound good? Okay. So for now, let's go to Nitro Court. And apparently we're in the courtyard of Cortex Castle collecting crystals. I mean, kind of ironic considering Cortex always asks us to get the crystals and here we are collecting crystals out of his place. So we're kind of technically stealing crystals from him. I know. I mean, despite me being a minion, or playing as one of his minions, I'm a jerk. And taking the crystals for myself. So, in this general area, bowling bombs are quite useful because they can pretty much clear a path out of the nitro crates. So yeah, if you need a nitro crate out of the way to collect a crystal, boom, you got a bowling bomb. Alright, so far so good. Shit! Ow! Alright, so far so good. I mean, alternatively, you can also get an E. Blah, blah, blah. Alternatively, you can also get a TNT crate on your head and just drive into the nitro crates. I mean, I know some people would say that that would be cheating, but it works. Where are the last... Okay. There's one over here. Where's that? Where's that last one? Shit! I'm running out of time here! No! It was right next to the other one! Damn it! I missed. How did I miss? And a 
double crystal. Ow! Alright, out of the way. Ouch! token we can move on Why do I do this to myself? Just a cedar. CTR challenge before we move on to the relic race. 
Because that's what I've been doing for the most part on these. Just CTR challenges first and then relic races. I mean, there might be a slight deviation on some of these tracks. I don't know. But I'm just going to stick with CTR challenges first and then relic races. <clears throat> Alright, let's find the letters. the R! How did I miss the R? There we go. Much better. Alright, out of the way. There are no trophies here, Tiny. Just letters. I refuse! I refuse to have a TNT on my head!
Loading and loading, loading and loading, loading and loading, loading and loading, and loading and loading and loading and loading and loading and loading. Away we go! Alright, time to beat. 310. Okay, sounds good. And I missed. I'll get it on the next lap. And I missed though. Wow! That was... That was a terrible attempt. That was stupid. So, let's just try again. As the old adage goes, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And 
if I'm missing that too. You know what? Screw it. Damn it. Screw it. Not worth it. station and a beautiful CGR challenge. Choice is yours. Feel like changing the look of your turbo gauge. I'm fine with the turbo gauge I have. Though I do have one preference, I'm just gonna stick with the one I have right now. Let's not miss the T 
you this time. Alright, got it. Now we just have to win the race. Because if he picked up the eyeball with his own hands, without the gloves, that would have been very, very unsanitary. Right, let it slide. You can take a sharp turn more easily by power sliding. Power slide, press and hold whatever buttons you're playing on a different console. In the case of this console, one L B R B. And the game is recycling hints with stuff that I already know. If you want to read it, go ahead, but pause the video. I'm not going to read those hints to you. I'm only doing this to help you walk through the game, or for your entertainment, either one. Not to tell you what things already say when you play the game anyway. I mean, I can be repetitive sometimes, but I'm not that repetitive.
So there's 49 crates here. Should be easy enough, unless I miss a couple. Bullshit! I was on the track! And I missed. I'll get that on the next lap. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Getting that one on the next lap is happening anytime soon. Yeah, I'm looking at the amount of laps now and it's looking unlikely. Alright, let's get to boosting. So that's Oxide Station done and dusted. The only other two stages left are Cortex Castle and Engine Labs. <sighs> Engine Labs. Crap, now I can't get that zombie beaver story off my mind. Damn you, brain! Damn you! kind of hard to believe, isn't it? Not a couple episodes in and already we're getting close to beating the game. Well, okay, we kind of beat the game, but not the entirety of it. We 
still have a couple things to do. There's the C, and I got it! And I just went flying into... Oh, damn it, I missed the R. It was right in front of me. And that nearly hit me. Alright, now the question is, if the R was there, then where is the T? And I somehow got the R on... And I somehow got the R as I got the T. Alright, let's win the race now. I can't believe I did that. I got all three letters in one lap. I mean, I kind of already did that a few times in the previous levels. I don't know which levels, but... Got him! I'm surprised I did not get flattened like a pancake there. That should have flattened me like a pancake. He looks so unamused compared to how he acted in Tag Team Racing. Alright. So that's... The CTR challenge of Engine Labs out of the way, I will get to the Relic Race in a moment, but first I gotta take care of something. BRB. Until then, enjoy this little celebration, and then... <clears throat> waiting in the winner's circle. So... Okay. I'll be right back. And we're back. Had to let the dogs back in. Anyways. 
On to Engine Labs. The relic race of it, anyway. And hopefully this will be the last time I mention the zombie beaver dream story. Because, good lord, I am getting tired of bringing that up. I mean, at first it was... I mean, the first time around was fine, but now it's just stuck on my mind and I... Just after Engine Labs, I want to be done describing it. Alright, we're starting over because I missed that. We're starting over there, because I missed that. Okay, you know what? I'll get that one on the next lap. And I missed those, and I missed... Okay, that was not going well. Get 
three seconds. How? That just doesn't make any sense. All right, on to Cortex Castle, and then that'll be it for Citadel City. Yeah, 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 we know about Golden Wumpas, how they glow, how they appear in glowing crates, how they're very fast, how they're collectible, how they provide a whole lot of stuff, but yet they can somehow be distracting. system. The lap assistants in this franchise deserve better. Alright, there's the C and I nearly fell. Hello spiders, goodbye spiders. Alright. Alright, Mr. T, where there you are, Mr. T! And I missed! How did I miss? It was right in front of me! Ow! Damn spiders! Ha! And you missed! Uh, no dingo dial! No! No dingo dial! Get away from me, you arachnid asshole! Off my head! Alright, let's try again in getting the T and I got it. Just win the race. 
Now you rock need as hell. How dare you? That that little direction looks so tempting, but I'm not risking it. For fear it will put me back. Just Dingodile isn't doing so well. I mean, how many times has he wound up in either second or third? Just poor Dingodile. Just the utter disappointment on his face. Again, and hopefully we finish off this level before we move on to the next area.
I got it. What the heck? Ow! Of course you're dizzy. Yeah. Hit a spider. Cortex everywhere. And I got another gold. Huzzah. And I think that should be it for all the extra stuff in this area. So we're just going to go to Gemstone Valley and save our progress there and then do the extra stuff there. I don't know if I'll split them up in two different episodes or just do all of them in one episode and the finale. I, I don't know. I'll think about it momentarily. So, until then, let's get to Gemstone Valley and save our progress. Alright, to Gemstone Valley! Oui! And I'm going the wrong direction. No, we're not gonna drive into Komodo Joe's challenge. I've already faced him, but I get the feeling that I'm gonna have to face him, Ripperu, Papu Papu, and Pinstripe again in in Gemstone Valley because in one particular area it's kind of a boss rush, and unlike the boss battles we did with them, it typically you go head to head with the bosses in a normal race, rather than them trying to outmaneuver you with their own weapons. So, yes. So, we're just gonna stop here and save our progress. We're almost done, people! You know what, why don't we do the boss rush thing first before we... other stuff. So yes, let's do the boss rush in the next episode and then we'll do the other things in the episode after and then after those we'll, we'll race Oxide again. So we're just gonna go over here and hit the brakes. So. My name has been Jasirium, this has been Let's Play Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel, and in the next episode, 
We are going to do a boss rush. So until then, I will see you all next time. Ciao!